okay, so um, where were we? So we are going to take a look at Composure um, because although um, Composite Plane is great at Shadows and but as we see, the, the keying is not um, as flexible. So we're, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to, um, to, do, to do the foreground masking and, 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 and composure. So uh, we're going to keep this. But I'm just going to hide the plane with going to the plane and then only owner C. Sorry, oh yeah, only owner C. That will make um the it's 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 not gonna render um uh if you if you uh played in the game. Alright. So back to composure media. Final comp. So we want to have this sphere to be to know if it's in front of the um, of the uh, tracker. Uh, where's my tracker? Right, right here. Um, if it's in front or um, behind. So we're gonna um, utilize the um, the um, scene depth. So if you see here, the further away um, um, an an object in, uh, from the camera, it'll 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 have a higher number, right? Um, so it'll it'll become more white. So we can compare that with the distance between this tracker over here, which has the actor plane, and this one, which has the um, camera, right? So to, to be able to do that, uh, we'll need to capture this uh, scene def, um scene um, with, um, with a scene capture. So let's put that on. Okay, let me just put this back to lit. So scene capture is almost like a camera, but um, you you are you will be able to push that output to a render target. Capture. <clears throat> so let's call this scene def capture. We are going to copy um, the FOV here to our uh, scene def capture FOV because it doesn't have like all the cine lenses um, settings. And um, we're going to create a, a new render target here. We'll call it um, def. Uh, RT uh, RT def okay. <coughs> so this um in def capture um we're gonna output it to the RT def okay and um. We're gonna capture final final color. All right. So um, we we will need to um, put uh, track this as well, but we'll do that later. Um, for now, let's make a post process um material. We call it 
post process def uh, change this to post process and I think we want to um, compare bean um, texture if it's greater okay if if it's greater than let's put a distance here distance let's put it at um, three meters so if this is more than three meters that means it's further away we want it not to appear <coughs> um, so we're gonna um, put a black value in there so greater than or equal to if it's less than that we're gonna we, we want a white value um, so it's um, masked correctly all right Plug that to emissive. Um, okay, we have an error here. I, I'm missing UV. Uh, text coordinate. Is that better? Nope. Uh, post resolution should see texture input A. Okay, so I think we need to mask this with a component mask. So we're just gonna put, um, we're just gonna put the R. Anyways, it's a uh, grayscale. I think that should work. Nope. Uh, post pressure material. Scene texture, scene color. Okay, so I forgot we need to change this to scene depth, which is what we want. Right. So after we have this new oops new post process material, we want that to um to blend um to, to drive our um um in capture here. So the way we do that We go to your handling features of this uh, scene uh, capture, post process material. We're going to choose an asset reference. This is going to drag to the uh, post process material. Also, if you open the, if you see this is already masking it, but it's uh, too low of uh, texture. So I'm going to change that to HD. There you go. So um, so if you go further away, that ball will disappear because we put um, 300 as our distance. Maybe we get closer, it'll appear. So it's already masking um, the way we want it to mask. So now we need to track that um, this this camera, the same with this one. So I'm going to reset this um, position and I'm going to um, add a new tracker. Actually, I'm just gonna add a new offsetter here. And call it capture. I'm going to have the our scene def capture. Okay, I'm going to name this capture as well. Mm, this one as a child. And we're going to have our 5 tracker 16 as a parent. And I'm going to I'm going to copy all the offset 
so that it matches exactly. All right, so let's see. So it's 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 already there. And if you open the um the RT target, see that's that's facing correctly. But we want to have this <clears throat> distance to be dynamic um, based on um, based on our actor plane. So the way we do that is um, we're going to create a new material parameter collection. <clears throat> we're going to call this def. Um, Param, def param. We're gonna add a new scalar parameter. We're gonna call it the same. Let's put 300 as the default. And we're gonna change this. Instead of pointing to a parameter here, we're gonna put um, collection parameter. You're gonna select def parm and also this person this guy here. So this <clears throat> this collection, this value it will dive um, um, this um, def parameter over here. So how do we um, drive that based on the distance between um, this actor plane and our, our, our camera or our um, scene def? So uh, we're going to do that um, during the event tick in the blueprint. So first, we're going to put uh, we're going to click on the actor plane and go to the level blueprint. We're gonna right click and there create a reference to the our actor plane, and you go to your scene scene def capture. <clears throat> Going back to the um, level blueprint, right click, and you're gonna create a reference. So with this two reference, you just need a distance um, get distance. Um, uh, and just plug those two in and you're gonna do a set scalar parameter value so you, you, you're going to be able to set this def parm and def parm value based on this distance you're gonna plug it to event tick compile save all right so how to use this in Composure? So we're going to click. Um, we're going to need to plug the sander target to Composure, but um, a CG layer um, you cannot uh, um, get sander target through a CG layer. It has to be a media plate for some reason. <clears throat> so we're going to put uh, for for ground mat. Here and the input you can do a texture input and then a render target. Oops, a render target um, texture. All right, uh, you don't need all this uh, chroma keying stuff, so just remove them. If you see here, um, uh, the the mat is, is is performing how we would like it to be. I think if I move my camera back, I should see that the ball. Yeah. So this ball if it's behind um, the plane it will disappear. Right, because it's based on this distance. 
Oh, I forgot we need to plug this in to our final comp. So we go to the comp material. We need a foreground mat. So we'll put the background over the actual comp, but with our um, under target as, <clears throat> as a mask. Let's apply. I need to put the final comp to a player viewport. Right. So <clears throat> that's how you do um, depth masking for foreground and composure. There's some um, quick application for the foreground masking. Uh, I imported some texture of um, Quixel. <clears throat> 